Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time I believe it's a DIY project, but a little bit more pro because this one is from Storno in Denmark. It's a um, test unit for uh, their radio systems. And here's the type number C32A. Most of the things is like written in Danish and uh, something like that, right? It's quite clear that you can see we can connect some probes, some voltages, channel stepping. We got some different signal generators on this is input and this is out. We got all sorts of, uh, what is that? Meters, really funny. And we got squelch, so you can listen, or you can disconnect the speaker, different channels. So yeah, I think this is a test set or something like that, right? For radio uh, things external signal generator power supply and that one is what does that say power supply automatic frequency control yeah we can't really use this for anything at all but what we can do is we can check it out how it is designed uh, i really like to see diy projects especially from companies because they are a little bit more high-tech compared to a lot of the hobby homebrew kind of stuff. You can imagine all the different meters connected to the different um, BNC connectors and uh, all these uh, probes and whatnot. Yeah, let's open and have a look. Wow, really? This is beautiful! I didn't expect it to be that pro. Wow. That is the speaker. Is that some power transistors or stuff like that? We got power supply input, maybe some diodes for reverse protection, stuff like that. All the different uh, plug-in modules. Maybe we should just, oh, have a little look. I like this, the holders here to keep the boards into the sockets. That's really neat. Oi, look at those transistors. Germanium transistors, lovely. So, how old is this unit? Oh yeah, that is quite old. From the, what, 70s, 70s, 80s, due to the transistors it's probably between that span isn't it yeah that is some of the radio stuff look at the feed through capacitors like that really good design box that one and that is another little power supply i see a transformer or something like that Some power resistors. I don't understand exactly what they're doing. All circuit boards, they got this Storno type number. I don't really see a year code, but it's quite clear the circuit board is done manually uh, using no CAD. And the reason why you can see that is because of the curves it's clearly done by hand by all the variable curves and all that kind of stuff but this is definitely beautiful hand layout style check it out here this require a nice steady hand to do 
all those curves here and get it all right with equal spacing and really beautiful like that. If this would have been cat, it wouldn't have looked at all like this. <laughs> oh, it's nice. I'm really impressed about the the quality of this layout job. And of course, all the little extra circuit boards for holding a little resistor here and there and whatnot is of course also with Sono logos and all that. So that will be the B and C input or output panel, the two meters. And yeah, we've got quite a lot of uh, circuit boards all over the place. All the knobs and lamps. Oh, yeah, nice, beautiful bulbs. And here's a little broken push button. Yeah, all the potentiometers, they go like really, really tight. And the feel here is like it's full of chewing gum. Obviously, uh, due to its age, somebody left this in their cellar for 20 years or something like that. Had maybe the idea, oh, we can save this, we can use this for something. No, you couldn't, cannot. But it's always fun to save all sorts of old uh, funky stuff. Sometimes you can find uh, date codes or something like that on the backside of meters. So I'm going to try and see if I can find anything with a date code on it. It's always fun to see if we can figure that out, right? I always find it a little bit annoying when somebody's using way too long screws. I mean, it's more or less the same feeling I got when somebody's using too short screws as well. Well, well, I'm maybe not that easy to make, <laughs> to make me happy. It's always something wrong, right? So that will be the station, watt meter and test generator, right? And then it goes to a little coax relay right there. So this relay switches the RF for the test. So I removed all the circuit board holders and then we can have a look at the circuit boards. But first I wanted to have a look at these three babies here. And I think that will be some power diodes for input voltage and station voltage and stuff like that, uh, reverse protection. I think that is what we're doing right there. So the circuit board doesn't really look like much. It's a funny brand, this Diplomatic. Oh, they're playing with words, huh? I don't find anything revealing any date codes yet. So that will be a little relay control board. Here's another little analog uh, power supply kind of circuit board. Look at that. See, that's probably some capacitors or something like that, right? See, we've got a little leakage from that one up there, right? Funny they put the numbers so close you can't even read them. That seems to be a little bucky bucky. So that will be the next two boards and that is a little... What is that? An op amp or something like that? Yeah, it looks a little bit like that. Still... Oh yeah, maybe that we could find a date code. U5B770939. What? 6829. Ooh, 68. Is it that all? Is that the. Why is this damping thing not in focus? 68. Okay, can it really be that old? That is a little audio amplifier from one of their normal radio sets. And then they just made a little adapter board like this to fit this uh, plug-in system. How cute is that? Stono reuse their designs instead of wasting time on uh, inventing the wheel again. So I think actually that is a nice find. Here we got the three sine oscillators 
for uh, what is that it says it says 300 hertz one kilohertz and three kilohertz uh, modulation frequencies so that's definitely a nice little sine wave oscillator and in here you find a tiny tiny little ncc resistor i don't know if you can see it it is that tiny yeah let me see if i can show you how tiny it really is any mode here all right see there you go that is the tiny tiny little resistor element so what is that doing different resistors here is that like filter filter or signal switching section and it's made using ac 130 germanium transistors Here we got the same amplifier chip again. It's probably yeah exactly the same number and also 6829. I don't know what that board is really doing. We got another little transistor amp board here. It's not looking like anything fancy smancy, but here is the magnificent. <laughs> oh yo yo! That is definitely why this thing is not working. What happened? Something bad happened. Yeah, <laughs> kaboom! So here's the little RF section board. It's uh, quite nice, this box, for all sorts of uh, yeah, design and built in some RF things. We've got some holes for BNC connectors, feed-through capacitors. It's just a perfect project box, uh, really. And it's uh, full of all the RF generator uh, receiver. Yeah, this is a receiver. See, it says 455 kilohertz. And we got the crystal here for its uh, injection. So this is definitely a receiver. How nice. It's really, really beautifully designed. We can even see the, oh, 10.7. Okay, so this is the um, first intermediate and this is the second. How nice. So there's another, oops. So there's another oscillator injection or something like that somewhere else. I didn't see where that is coming from. Mm, weird, weird. So that will be the power supply. Oh, it's full of corrosion. And uh, oh, there's a missing fuse. Sometimes you can also find a uh, date code on those capacitors. I just didn't see it yet. Or no. 78CH. No, that is not the. And a 3055. And there's another 3055 here. Okay, so we've got two different possible. Ah, plus minus 12 volts or something like that, right? And here's a fuse. Ah, ooh, you poo, you poo. Capacitor leaks and nasty stuff. But I kind of like all the different uh, primary tapping here for fine adjustment of your voltages. So this is really a nice transformer. Funny, one fuse is missing here, right? Yeah, I also found same type of leaked capacitors down here and again i think i didn't find any uh no no uh date codes on any of these either so yeah that is more or less what i wanted to show you about this fantastic test unit now i will repair it put it back together and sell it for a million dollars so stay tuned for that
somebody definitely spent a lot of time and a lot of money into the design of this one back in the 68 or something like that right so anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you had a little bit of fun see you soon bye bye